And good morning Minecraft and welcome to episode number 21 of my Let's Play series. So today we're going to expand our power production a little bit. And to do that, we're going to make ourselves some boilers. So let's get ourselves nine liquid fueled fireboxes. Okay, that's what will actually burn the fuel. Now steam boilers are a very interesting method. Let me just look up this. Huh, I'm not going to have quite enough, am I? Not quite. Steam boilers are a very interesting way of generating power. They require a lot of energy to get started, but once they are started, they're actually incredibly efficient power sources. One running steam boiler can generate over 200 units of, uh, over 200 energy units. Oh, come on, buddy. Okay. So what we're gonna do first of all, you can see here, I already have my feed set up. Boilers require water to run. They have to have water, hence the aqueous accumulators. They also need fuel. Now these are all gonna be liquid fueled, hence the liquiducts. So we're gonna make a three by three base and we're gonna start placing our high pressure boiler tanks on top. Now as soon as I get enough layers of them, they should connect. You can see the water's already starting to fill. But we're not quite done yet. We still need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need 14 steel plates. Oops, don't want to be up here yet. Which I think we could definitely work work on. All right, so let's go over here. And... and that'll be just enough. And don't worry, I have a bunch more steel cooking up downstairs. Because I'm going to need it, that's for certain. Okay. Let's look at that. And we got ourselves seven more higher pressure boiler tanks. Nice. Now, so as I said, steam boilers eat a lot of a lot of fuel to start up. But after they're running, they're very fuel efficient for the power they generate. And actually, it turns out that you can also generate both EU and buildcraft power with them. But it turns out in our case, here we go, full high pressure boiler. But it turns out in our case, what we're actually going to be wanting to do <clears throat> is convert directly into EU using steam turbines. Now, why do we want to do that? Well, it's actually more efficient to use steam turbines and then to use some of these babies here, these electrical engines, to convert the power, rather than going directly into MJ. So that's what we're gonna do. Efficiency is better. And we also need more power, of course. IC2 power is becoming an issue, and we're gonna fix it. So I need four and four, which means I need four times three is 12. Oh. Interesting, okay. So let's go over here. I used the wrong type of steel. I used um, Railcraft steel out of the... Yeah, okay. That was a derp of me. That's fine. We'll get this done anyways. So I have the blocks I need, and what we're going to need are these turbine casings 
four and four it gives Swift Craft it four times. So give myself another four. Right? And we're going to basically want two of these, if I remember correctly. It's actually 2.16 per type HP steam boiler. But we can worry about that 0.16 steam we'll be losing later. 0.16 boiler worth we'll be losing later. Let me just check out steel. Okay, so we do the calculations, right? So I'm going to need a total, if it's 3 by 2 by 2, right? That's uh, 6, 12. So 12, 24. What's 24 divided by 3? 8. So I need 8 times 4, which is 32 blocks of steel and 32 steel plates. Oh boy. Put you away. We're going to need some more steel, actually. How are you doing? No, oh, you're dry. You're cooking slowly. So let's get ourselves... Um... Another 21 refined iron should do the trick. Electrical furnace, please. Now this is nice and fast, of course, because I have the heating coil upgrades in there. So it's nice and quick. Actually, it's a little bit, it's about as fast as a fully upgraded uh, induction smelter. Which I sincerely approve of, to be honest with you guys. Three, two, one, done. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, we're going to get a refined iron, and we're going to get some coal dust out. And this is, by the way, this is the fast way. Let's, uh, <clears throat> where's my macerator? Just some coal dust and some iron is, refined iron, is the fast way to getting yourself some steel. In fact, I'm just going to shut this thing down, because it's not even worth it. Not with this thing running full tilt. Oh, come on. I need to light this room up better. But we'll get to that, don't worry. I say that a lot, don't I? Sixteen. Okay, so I need four. I need 36 steel in there to do this. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. And we are back. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to get ourselves some turbine housing. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run our butts downstairs. Right? Right. And we're going to come over this. Okay. Connection. Space, space, turbine. We're just going to lay it out just like this. Okay. We're going to go up a level. Oh, you can't do it that way. Too bad. Well, I can do it straight up flush with the ceiling, I guess. No, right, because I'm not set on 
There we go. All right, so now we have our two steam turbines set up. And these will each generate, I believe, 100 EU per tick, I think was the number. Let's look that up. Let's check the Railcraft wiki. Steam turbine. 200 EU. Okay. 200 EU. But first, we're going to have to get ourselves some turbine rotors. No, for heaven's sakes. I should really cross-connect that at some point in the nearby future. Two turbine rotors. All right. Let's get upstairs. Make sure that's still connected. Yes. Okay. Now, 200 EU is actually more than we can output from a MFE. So we wouldn't be getting full output. But first, let's get these turbine rotors done. All right. So. Let's look. Turbine blade. Okay, and how many of these we need? Eight. Whew. Yep, we're going to need some more steel. Let's see if I cooked up. Yeah. And some coal dust, please. So this is, as you can tell, this is quite a process. Um, even for where I am in the game right now, this is like, this is a lot of resources I'm putting together here. Like right now, if I took the steel I have, I could get one turbine disc and I need three of them. Three of them to make a full set of turbine, a full turbine rotor. So in the meantime, let me see here. MFE, please. Okay. And let me get some diamonds and some redstone. As you guys can tell, I've been doing quite a bit of mining lately. Okay. One, two, three, four. Gets us our MFE. Yes, yes, yes. Let's so do these one at a time for right now. Now let's get ourselves our first MFSU, which I think you guys have seen me craft once. Ooh, I do need the highly advanced machine block. Okay. Let's get our advanced circuit first. Do I have any? Nope. Gosh, really? Macerator. I have some coal dust on me. Not too shabby. I think I need... Yes, I need two of those for my compressor. Compress, please. Let's just chunk these back in there. And then let me look up how to make my mixed metal ingots again. Need two of them. It's easy way to make two. Invar, bronze, invar, bronze. <laughs> invar, invar, invar. Steel, bronze, tin, or steel, bronze, zinc. Steel. Bronze, please. Now, 
if I plate those up, come over here to the plate bending machine. Should go steel, bronze, aluminum. Oh, I got an extra one. Okay. Compressor, please. And compress that up for me. If that would be so kind. And now for our advanced. Can I, what can I make you an advanced machine block? Yeah, okay, fine. Let's get that and some. Get me seven, please. Yep, it's one of those days. A lot of crafting today, apparently. Four, five, six, and seven. Beautiful. Assembling machine, please. Get me a machine block, if you would be so kind. Because I believe by now I should have all the materials I need for that advanced machine block. Now if I click on this, and I click on that, we get our advanced machine block. And now we go back to our MFSU page. I need six Lapatron crystals. Oi. One... Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. No. No. Of course. Fabulous. I have enough circuits to do that too. So now I believe all I should have to do What is it? I forgot where these guys are coming in from. Ah, and I need an MFE. Which is in my inventory, of course. And we get ourselves a brand new MFSU. Which we are just going to stick on the block like that. And just to make sure we're all set here, we're going to do this. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I believe. Um, nope, not all the way up. There is, by the way, interesting little lag spike there. There is, by the way, a. Um, an online calculator that'll tell you how much fuel you need. And I'm sitting at 563. What are you saying I need? Whew. All right, so we're almost there. We need 696 for heat up. I don't know if I'm quite close enough yet, but okay. So in the meantime, we'll just continue getting this thing fully prepped and ready to go. Um, and I will bring you guys back in as soon as I have the system ready. Be right back, guys. All right, we're back. And after a long period of time, I can now safely say that I can do this. Ta-da! Now it takes significantly less time... simply because I've already made good chunks of it. But we appear to now have... Wow. Okay, hi guys. Note to self, next time I'm doing something off camera, run around here with the spawn locator, the spawn highlighter turned on and figure out what I'm doing. Alright, so now, what are we doing here? 
Okay, let's wrench you, and then wrench you, wrench you, and then wrench you, and let's hook you guys together. The roof level is right about this line here. Huh. You know, it would make more sense. Nah, I guess it's fine. Roof line for this room is right about here, right? Right, 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 right. So for right now, that's one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So make sure fifteen, sixteen. I'm not making this thing too long. Okay. Now the MFSUs output high voltage power. And that's my main concern right now. So we need to downstep it into something a little more sane for our system. How are we going to do that? Well, we've already made an LV transformer. So now we're going to make ourselves an MV transformer. Which I know is going to require a machine block right off the bat. Okay, we already have one. Na -na, na -na, na -na. Yoink, thank you. That was nice and easy, right? <laughs> no complex crafting recipe for us. Now I'm hooking this thing directly into the same power line. Right here. Eventually I'll move it over, I'll rearrange all this, and I'll do something a little more sane with it. But for right now, this should do the trick just fine. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to check on our fuel levels. Which I believe would be this door. Five eighty. Five eighty. Nope, I still got another hundred buckets remaining. So, why don't I bring you guys back in where we're ready to fire up the boiler, all right? All right. And we're back, and it looks like plenty. Okay, so now I'm, I haven't run the calculations or a timer or anything, uh, but I think we should have enough production going on that we should be able to handle this, okay? If not, uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Um. Ugh, I hate these things. I really need to run through my base with the spawn detector turned on and figure out what's going on with these. Okay, so now what we should be able to do is take our liquid tesseract. Drop it down there. And we'll set it to fuel supply. On. And now we should start seeing that this thing is starting to build up power. Yep, there we go. Ethanol is building up. And it won't do anything until it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. Or, more precisely, the boiling point of water. Because it's the same in Minecraft as it is in real life. But for now, let's start hooking up our liquiducts. Now, liquiducts with something like this can actually hold... Oh, oops. I put these in the wrong spot. Huh. Well, no big deal. We can move them forward. There we go. We should be able to go like this. Like that. There we go. Okay. And now we have our line coming this way to 
connect to these. So liquid ducts can hold an infinite amount of steam, but each one of those connection points can only transfer a limited amount. And I'm fresh out of liquid ducts. Oi, what am I doing? Urgh. No big deal though, we can make some more. I really need to figure fix that config issue. Huh. That was convenient actually. <laughs> um, okay, apparently I had that recipe already set up. Okay then. So let's come over to here. And I think four on each line should be enough. Hook it up just like that. Okay. Now put our FSUs back in. With our glass fiber cables like so. We should be all set and ready. I think so. Well, not yet. We still don't have our turbine set up. And if I'm not mistaken, Oops, nope, don't throw the power claw around. Um, of course, I don't have any blocks to get up there. Oy. Oy, 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 oy. This is actually one of the annoying things about this system. Um, theory would say that because steam is compressible like a gas, right? And according to Minecraft physics, a gas, an infinite amount of gas can be held in a liquid duct. Theory would say, correct me if I'm wrong here, that we should be able to have an infinite amount in each connection, but we can't. So I'm kind of going a little overboard on my connections here. And that should do fine. Okay. Now, let's check this thing out. We are at 45 degrees Celsius. All right, we're almost halfway there. Now, I'm not too worried if this thing does run out of juice. Um, what I can always do is flip over. The thermal generators will still be there and running. Um, and I'm not planning on disconnecting those anytime soon. I still kind of want that power. So let's check out steel. Okay. Oh. Must have used some. Give me another 12, please. Some coal dust. Five, six, seven. So as you guys can tell, this is actually quite a complex process to get enough steel going for this react for this uh for these um what are these things called again? Steam boilers. Yeah, steam boilers. And I put enough slots for us to put another three of them. Um, I don't know whether I'll go all liquid fuel running on um, ethanol or whether I'll go and try and get some other method of powering these things. But for right now, this is what we're kind of stuck with. And we're still trying to get all the steel together for the turbine rotors. Because uh, I didn't think that far ahead. I forgot exactly how much steel these things can chew through. I forgot exactly how much steel these things will actually chew through if given half an opportunity to do so. Okay. So, let me... Really now? A lot of mobs today. Let me give you a quick hint. If you hit... Nope, that's chunk loading boundary. hit F7, you can see where stuff can still spawn. Oh, come on. There we go. Quite a lot of that space in here, apparently. Let's get some more lighting in here. Oh, this entire segment.
Yes, I'm putting lights on the floor. I will I will solve this all once I get around to doing some wrath lamps. Wrath lamps are really cool. They project a beam of light basically. Clear the area. And they're really quite handy to have, to be honest with you. Um That looks better. That looks better. <sighs> That's better. That's better. And of course, these uh, light capacitory things make this job a whole lot easier. Do do do. Do do do. Do do. That room's all set. That's good. So I'm about as paranoid as I usually am about lighting everything up. But we can take care of that while we're waiting for some steel to cook up. So. <clears throat> Blanc. Blanc. Over there. Yeah, okay, fine. This room's a mess. Okay, in this part of this, this area is all Amos' fault. This is all his. <sighs> hey, puppy. I picked him up off camera, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of decided to. You know what? Why not? Watch that up there. Okay. Now that everything is basically lit up, let's see how... Let's see how our steel production is going here. Except I didn't want to be down. And I really have to fix that config issue with my uh, wireless stuff. I know I have to fix it, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay, let's pop this open. Oh my word, just three. Alright guys, I'll be back once I actually get these things running. Uh, I'll give you a minute. Alright, and we got our three turbine discs. Put them together and we get a turbine rotor. Nice. Now, as these things are used in the machine, they do take durability damage, but at a pretty slow rate. I don't know if they can be repaired or not, but whatever. Yeah. So let's put it at the bottom one for right now. Turbine rotor installed. Oop, we're almost there, guys. We are almost there. Not too shabby at all. Okay. So once this thing kicks on, we should see a whole bunch more power becoming available in our system. Whew. That'll be nice to see. That'll be really nice to see. And I am going to convert, uh, upgrade these three MFEs up here, and probably work out a bit of this wiring fiasco that I have going on. Um, what are you going to? You're on HV MV power line? Yeah, this all needs to be completely redone. This needs to be expanded. Ugh. This line up here probably needs to be moved, and it's going to be a bit of a wreck. But I'll take care of most of that off camera, I think. Because right now I just want to get the steam boiler started and turn off the camera, because I have a suspicion I am way over time for the episode. So just to save on that time... Oh, we're at 99 degrees C. I was going to say I'll log off now and come back as soon as the thing reaches full power. And we're at 100 degrees C, and we should be able to see in a couple seconds once it's not just a rounding earth. There we go. We are now building up steam inside our boiler. It's building, it's building, it's building. Once it reaches halfway, we should be able to see the steam start flowing out of our uh, tank over there. Come on, buddy. Come on. 
Come on, buddy. You can see now we're actually using all that water we have stored up in the boiler system. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. There we go. We're almost halfway. Almost. Almost. And we now have steam flowing. Look at that, guys. Steam is flowing. Our turbine has flipped to close to 100% power now. Um, what are you doing? Zero, because you don't have that in there. You should be at 100%, which probably means I don't have enough. I don't have enough connections. Yep, 100% power. So I did need those extra... connections Blonk. and we now have power flowing into our system oops not what I wanted we can see we have EU flowing in and out simultaneously which is interesting certainly probably going to charge up these things up top Interesting. Where is that power going? Huh. 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 Where is it going? It's very strange. Hmm. Where is that power going? You're full. All of you guys are full. Right? Or have you guys just turned off now? These might have just turned off, and this thing may have just assumed full, full load on the facility. But I'm not draining that much power out of here. Oh, the ME system, probably. Alright, anyways, guys, I will figure that out later. Um, I honestly have no idea why it's doing that. So, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been another episode. I'm sorry, this probably ran wicked long. Um, but... You know, such things do happen. So, um, on that note, ladies and gents, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this episode, leave a like, comment, subscription. Just let me know you enjoyed it, and what you enjoyed about it, preferably. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. It's been wonderful, and as always, happy mining.